My name is Tim Pham. I'm from Austin, Texas. Uh, for my children, um, I would like to hear from both of you as far as the temptation to keeping up with the Joneses. And can you give them advice that they can live by with respect to frugality, debt, and work ethic? Yeah, just tell them to keep up with the buffers. <laughs> Well, Charlie and I he, uh, have, have always big, been big fans of living within your income, and if you do that, you'll have a whole lot more income later on. And, uh, uh, you know, it, it, I think they will, to a considerable extent, not a perfect extent, they will follow the example of their parents. I mean, if their parents are coveting, you know, every possession of their neighbor, you know, or tr trying to figure out ways to increase their cost of living without necessarily their standard of living, the kids are likely to pick up on it. But uh, you know, now you can get the reverse effect. If you get too tough with them, they go crazy later on. <laughs> but the, oh, it's, people make that election. And incidentally, uh, there are people, uh, there are plenty of people that I don't advise to save. I mean, the real if, if, if you're struggling along and making a reasonable income and you have a job with a 401k being put aside for you and, and, and you have Social Security, who is to say whether it's better to defer a dollar of expenditure on your family on a trip to Disneyland or something that they'll get enormous enjoyment out of so that when you're 75, you can have a, you know, a 30-foot boat instead of a 20-foot boat. I mean, there are, there are choices and and... There are advantages to spending money in various forms uh, for your family when it's young and giving them various forms of enjoyment or education or whatever it may be. So I, I, don't, I don't advocate, I may practice, but I don't advocate extreme frugality. Uh, the, uh, and I don't say that it's always better to be saving 10% of your income instead of 5% of your income. I think it's crazy to be spending 105% of your income, and I think that that leads to all kinds of problems, and I get letters from people every day that have experienced those problems. Uh, but I, you know, in the end, you, if you want to have an internal scorecard. I mean, you, you, are not a, you are not a better person or a worse person because you live a different kind of life than your neighbor. You live a life that, you know, is true to yourself. Charlie? <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it's obviously the best me best method to to uh, train your children to to uh, provide the proper example. I think we're hearing a child that didn't didn't get that advice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, even if you do provide the proper example, it, it's likely not to work. Mm. Time anyway. <laughs>